Hello everybody and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. If you are new here, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. My name is Danny, and I have been uploading a lot of awesome Animal Crossing content and you do not want to miss out on any further videos. This one is really, really awesome and I'm hoping that it will help out so many of you because this was difficult. Difficult. This is catching the giant isopod. Yeah. It is huge, and it is an absolute pain in the butt to try to catch. So I'm not going to lie. This thing is so incredibly frustrating to chase around. And if you haven't seen the one where I try to catch the giant gala clam or whatever the other one's called, the big, big, big clam, it's pretty similar to that. This thing is a monstrous size I don't even know what you want to call it. It looks like a roly-poly pill bug in the water. It is horrifying. Look at that. That is horrifying. And if you're on this video, you've probably discovered that it's even more horrifying to try to catch it than it actually looks like. So let's go ahead and open this little guy up on the Critterpedia. This is the giant isopod. You can only catch it in July, August, September, and October. And as you can see, it really only has two time frames, or there's two chunks during the day where you can't catch it. So essentially, when you're swimming around, you don't really know what you're looking at. You just see the bubbles. So you can't really tell if you're going to catch this giant isopod when you go down into the water. But you will see a lot of movement when you dive down into the water. So just keep swimming around like you normally would. Continue looking for your pearls and your oysters and all of that stuff. When you finally find the isopod or any other incredibly difficult animal to catch, you'll see those big kind of like dirt waves come up around it and then it's going to start swimming away. Now what's really, really, really frustrating is it swims just fast enough that you can't catch up to it. Guys, I am an expert at button mashing. I mean, I am awesome at it. No amount of button mashing will catch you up to this thing. It is so frustrating. I honestly think the very first time I did this, I spent over 30 minutes just chasing this thing in circles. I mean, honestly, it it's horrifying. So then I accidentally found out a really great way to catch this or any other critter that moves like this, like the giant clam. And that is to try to push it up against a fence. So either swim on the outside of it, you can swim underwater if that helps you see it better but kind of try to swim in back and to the side of it so that it goes more diagonally up towards the edge of the map and either push it into the wall to where it gets to a point that it can't move or push it into a corner if you can get it to a corner that's the easiest every time I found them and I've gotten them into a corner they've pretty much I don't know that they've glitched into the corner but they can't move because they can't come towards you otherwise they know that you're gonna get it and it's just not programmed to swim toward you it's programmed to swim away from you but when it's in a corner or up against the wall like that it doesn't have anywhere to go and it just gets stuck and then it's really easy to get it from that point so this is when I just managed to push into the corner and as you can see it couldn't go anywhere it just got stuck there and I surfaced right up with it no problem at all super quick and super easy but if you just chase it around it it's net just it's not gonna happen I'm not gonna lie I, I mean maybe eventually you'll catch up to it but that just wasn't the case for me I could not catch up to it so that is the giant isopod that's how you catch it that is the best way that I found to catch it. Now a little bit more about this guy. If you want to sell it, it sells for 12,000 bells, but I spent way, way, way too much time on this for 12,000 bells. So naturally I am going to donate this little guy to the museum and keep him forever, at least until I find another one. Maybe the other one I'll put on display or something. I'm not sure, but it was too difficult to not donate. So anyway, guys, that is basically how you want to catch this or any other critter. I do have the one on the clam if you want one specifically for the clam as well. But that is, that's it. I mean, you just have to push it up against the wall and try your hardest to get it into that one location to basically get it stuck. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it has been helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.